Okay, how different do we dare to think and act in order to save the planet if we are businesses in the midst of a financial crisis? Interesting, right? Yeah, what are your thoughts, Dennis? Well, there's a lot of things here. I, I think particularly, if I've been working quite a lot in Poland also, and these sort of institutional barriers, which I think Halla was also talking about, it's, it's not the fact that we don't have the solutions there. It's the, the way the structures are and the way then people accept them mentally and emotionally as given, instead of saying, well, we can change this. As you say, Poland is a fantastic place for bioenergy. There's no reason that, uh, and, and we've been trying with IKEA, who has a lot of suppliers in, in, in um, Poland, to why shouldn't those suppliers become net producer of green energy? Because it's all about forest products coming in. And we go out and we talk with consultants, we talk with governments, and it's coal, coal, coal. The first, when the crisis is hit, uh, people deny that there's a crisis, and uh, then they want to go back to what it was. And after a while, they start thinking, OK, so here we are. How do we solve our issues? And let's move on. And I think that we're getting to that point now, that people are actually realizing that uh, there has to be a different kind of a business model. There has to be a different kind of a value set. That will take us to the next step. And I can see that that is happening all around the world. So I'm not that pessimistic about uh, how, 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 how the world could actually benefit from this crisis. So what is more to it, what is more urgent in, in this, I think that the sense, we, the sense of urgency, Dennis used to talk about that, is still not there to that level it should be. You see, my generation and Dennis' generation and many other young people, we have more in common with somebody from, who is 35 from China and in India than with a 65-year-old white male from Scandinavia. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is because we, share, we are part of the global process, we are part of the globalization, we share this, a type of a setup of problems and challenges and opportunities. They, are, they haven't been there for, for like 10 years ago. So when we talk about the Poland, it's not a Polish problem. Poland is a European problem if we talk about the coal. And I think the European Union should definitely find a solution in some way, on, and the finance sector as well, how to adjust and help Poland to get rid of the coal dependency in that way. But the question is, it's not only the coal, that somebody's demanding the coal. And how come they can still demand it into that level and they're not paying the premium price for that? So it's a sort of a not going to the coal companies because they're the, the mining companies, but going to the, actually the people who are taking the electricity from there. So from that perspective, I'm, not, I'm optimistic, but I think we, we haven't realized the sense of urgency. I think our generations are looking back to the people who are born in 40s and 50s and asking, basically asking the questions, what have you done? This money is so important and we can't, and, and profit is so important. It's just so important that we make profit in a, in a good way, and that we make money a force for good rather than force for um, some really, really negative behaviors, as I think we've done with the excessive, outrageous pay packages and bonuses. I mean, who is worth the kind of money that we've been paying, uh, and still we're paying, out of government taxpayers' packages in London and in, in New York, even in Iceland? Nobody's worth that kind of money. So I think money is really <coughs> the power that can change things. We need to get the different criteria going now for money. What we, what we are trying to do is to, to make a prediction about a possible revolution of the approach. But revolutions tend to appear when nobody expects them. Mm -hmm. Who knows? What we can do is to move a little bit in a limited area we are present, move a little bit things in the right direction. I, my experience at what I hear here is also the element of a change. Of course, it may go out soon, but somehow attitude changed in a moment. It may uh, develop somehow. It may not. Who knows? But I think in uh, our um, our roles that we play in, uh, in in the economy, we can try to make small changes that perhaps somehow will lead to some quite uh, so sort of a jump. Uh, uh, a quiet uh, jump. It may. Right? It may. Yeah. I can assu can't assume it, but what else can we do? 